Looking for the perfect summer accessory? This bandana is never out of style. Let's jump into the tutorial. You'll need two different colors of yarn, a contrasting color and a main color, a 5mm crochet hook, scissors, and a darning needle to weave in the ends. Like all projects, we're going to be starting with a slip knot. You can do this however you feel most comfortable. Chain 4. Or alternatively, you can do a magic ring here. But I prefer the chain 4 method. Slip stitch into the first chain. Chain 5 to begin the first round. Now we're going to work into the middle of the circle. We're going to place three double crochets into the circle. That's one. Two. And three. We're going to chain three here to help create the top of the triangle. Place three double crochets into the circle. If you're enjoying my video so far, please consider subscribing. Chain one. Now we're going to place one double crochet into the circle. This will end our round. As you can see here, we've now created a little triangle. We're going to begin round two with a chain five. Double crochet three times into the space created below. Chain one to move to the next space. Place three double crochets into the space created by the previous chain three. Chain three to form the top of the triangle. Place three double crochets into the same space created below. Now we're going to chain one and move to the next space. Double crochet three times into the next space. Chain one, double crochet. As you can see, the triangle is starting to grow. To start round three, chain five. Double crochet three times into the space.
chain one and move to the next space. Double crochet three times. Chain one. Double crochet three times into the top of the triangle. Chain three to form the top of the triangle. Double crochet three times into the same space. Chain one. Double crochet three times into the next space. Chain one. Double crochet three times into the next space. Chain one. Double crochet one more time into that same space. And that's the end of round three. Now you can see how the pattern is starting to form. And this is what it looks like after four rounds. Continue this pattern until you have as many rows as you want. So I've completed 13 rows of my bandana and I'm just about to finish it here. I'm up to my last chain one three double crochet cluster chain one and add one last double crochet to the rope now I'm going to cut the yarn and fasten off I've also weaved in my ends here. Using my contrasting color, I'm now going to single crochet all the way around my bandana. So here I'm just joining my new color to my bandana. You can do this however you feel comfortable. So to my corner, I'm gonna be adding three single crochets. I'll be adding three single crochets to each space going across the bandana. Now I'm at the next corner, I'm gonna be adding three single crochets into the corner. Just like that, it was so easy. So now I'm gonna be adding two more to turn the corner. So one, and two. For this row, I'm going to be working into the tops of each of the stitches created by the double crochets. When I have a single crochet, I'm just going to be single crocheting once into that space. Working a single crochet into each of the tops. Just like this. And then a single crochet into the space. I'll meet you at the top of the triangle here. 
Now we're at the top of the triangle, I'm going to be adding four single crochets to the space. One, two, three, as you can see, got three there, and one more, four. Now we're going to continue like we did previously down the next side. We're just going to continue single crocheting into the tops of each of those stitches. I'll meet you at the end of the row. Okay, so we're at the last corner and all I'm going to do here is add two single crochets to this corner. Cut the yarn. Fasten off. And now I'm just going to weave in the ends. So I'm going to make this part look a little bit pretty. And then I'm going to make the straps. So here we have it. It's so cute. It's nice and bordered. I absolutely love the color choices I have here. It kind of reminds me of Taylor Swift's 1989 album. I don't know. Leave me a comment if you think the same thing. I'm going to be adding a little bit of weight to my bandana just so I can braid my straps. I'm just going to get six lengths of yarn and cut them. But I'm going to leave one end looped. Cut the yarn on the opposite end. I'm going to thread my yarn through the corner and secure it down tightly so I can start braiding. I have separated my strands into three groups and now I'm just going to braid it. I did the same thing on the other side and now I have two straps. Alternatively, you could always crochet straps. I like doing it like this so that if they get a bit messy, I can cut them. Your bandana looks amazing. Tell me, how did your bandana turn out? Did you use different colors? Like, comment, and subscribe for more crochet inspiration and tutorials. Click here to watch another one of my tutorials.